Good afternoon, ladies. My name is Miss Laverne Smith Ewell. I'm currently employed at Keystone Elementary School as the office secretary. I'm also the supervisor for the before and aftercare program. I started this journey in 2001 of August. Um, I started here as a part-time assistant, and after two years of work in a part-time assistant job, I became a full-time special ed assistant. I worked with Mr. Walker for 13 years as a special ed assistant. Uh, an opportunity was presented to me to become the aftercare coordinator in 2008. I took on that position in 2008. 2015, the position was offered to me to become the office secretary. So I accepted that position. So I wear a lot of hats and I've been doing a lot of things here in Keystone Elementary School. I'm currently employed uh, here, and I'm currently enrolled at Union University pursuing my degree in social work. This is my second full year as um, trying to become a social worker, and it's a hard job, but I'm determined to do it. I work two full-time jobs and go to school, so it is a definitely a challenge. Once I'm done with Union University and receive my bachelor's degree, I'm going to go on and try to pursue and get my master's degree. I am determined, no matter what I do, I am determined to get this done. I had a fear of going to college. I was out of school for 30 year, 31 years before I ever decided to enroll in college. So I was determined I was going to do it, and that is my goal. My aspirations has always to become a social worker or either a guidance counselor. As a young girl, I love to talk and encourage people. And since children is my passion, my job is I want to reach their mind. So those are my goals and aspirations. And once I'm done with that, hopefully I can stay within the school system and become a social worker for the district. If I become a social worker for the district, I'll maybe work another 10 to 12 years. Then I can retire because I have 30 years under my belt in the district. And then maybe I go pursue at another youth village or something like that, becoming a social worker. Then at 65, 66, these are just my long-term goals I'm trying to reach. Maybe I can just sit back and relax and enjoy my grandchildren. That's who I am, and those are my dreams, goals, and aspirations. You guys have any questions for me, comments, concerns, suggestions, anything I can take? I'm always willing to learn. Well, I think... You will be wonderful at this. Thank you. I have known you for quite some time. Right, right. And I think that that will be your calling. I think you tend to speak life into people, thank so you. that's a good thing. Thank you, thank so you. I'm sure you're going to do well. Thank you much, thank you I much. agree with Ms. Sweeter. I've known you quite a long time, Ms. Laverne. Mm -hmm. I actually, when I be started working here, it was Miss Pam, my motivation to work here. My daughter went here from kindergarten through sixth grade. Uh, Miss Pam used to be the GOS. She, when she took, she was an ed assistant, then she took the GOS position, and she told me, come on up here and work, come on. And I said, no, I better not. She asked me twice, and I finally gave her the chance, and I've been here ever since. So, yes, You are totally awesome with what you do, Thank and you, you can tell your passion is children. Thank you. I love the children. I love the children. Love the children. Love the children. Well, thank you ladies so much for sitting in on my session. I truly appreciate it. Thank you.